Hey everyone, it's Brian here. Today I'm coming on to do a kind of a different project from what I usually make. I'm usually doing card making or paper crafting um, videos, but today I want to transform the back side of this Hello Fall um, sign from Dollar General into a winter thing. It's going to say let it snow. So first thing what I did was I went ahead and tried to take this label off, but it didn't quite work out. But it doesn't matter because we're using vinyl for today's project. So first of all, we want to go ahead and measure. I already pre-measured this is about 18 and a quarter inches long or tall. And this is just over five inches wide, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is get my vinyl ready. And we're gonna cut it down to size. And this is a good Cricut project as well, or, if you, well, that's not going to work. Actually, I'm going to use this one after all. So we're going to cut this down to five inches. Now, I did already do all the cutting on the Cricut, but it's pretty simple to do, especially if you have the know-how and the knowledge on how to use a Cricut machine. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece on first. Oops, sorry. Just bopped the camera. Now I wanna go ahead and make little marks here with an X-Acto knife. That's not the right spot even. Okay, here we go, right about here. And up here as well, right around here. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and peel off this end first. I'm really hoping y'all just saw what I did. If you didn't, I just cut out a little slit up here and up here for where the um, hanging apparatus is. See if I can do this. If this doesn't work, I may just go ahead and say heck with it and just put it on top of it. Same thing for over here. Peel it back just a little bit. There we go. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull back here some, pull back, pull the backing off some, I should say, line up and everything, pull from the bottom, going back like so. We're going to start laying it down in just a moment. I'm glad it's fine on this. MDF is very forgiving so far. I feel like I could have messed up so many times by now. Oops. I don't think I quite got that positioned correctly. But like I said, it's very forgiving, it looks like. So that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and peel all this again and try to get this positioned just right. It may just have to stay like that, though. Because it looks to me like I have to stay like that. Oops. Again. I may actually put a little border around it or something. You know, just to hide the imperfections. The major imperfections, in fact. But this is just a little something to do for fun on a Monday evening. So let me go ahead and get this smoother outer. Then go ahead and smooth out all these air bubbles and other such things. Then go ahead and pull that up some more. And there we go. We're gonna have this on the left side, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Because I'm not going for perfection. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut maybe like six and a half or seven inches on this one. So I can use some of this for something else. Cut that seven. And we got that. That will look good. Go ahead, lay it down like this. Okay, 
I'm going to go ahead and this is probably not going to stick down now up here. So I tried to move around too many times and got the burlap, I mean, on jute on it. So what I'm going to do is get a little bit of this Barry Art glue and put a little dab on there to get stick, hopefully. Slim chance that'll happen, but you never know if you don't try. Okay, there we go. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and get our lettering on here. I don't know why this did like this. I had it on poster board saying it at the very first part, but I turned it off of that. But apparently that didn't matter. Because this is going to do its own thing. Okay. We're going to start at the bottom with the W. see here I think you'll be able to see that yes so I'm gonna go ahead and poke out all these innards as I call them poke them out tear them out something and I'm out we don't need those so I'm gonna go ahead and start Peeling this. Want to apply it like so. There we go. And also, I did not do the O for a reason. So I'm going to hang one of these wooden snowflakes on here for the layer O. So I'm just going to leave that like that for right now. I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to hang that on. Let's give this enough space here in between the lettering. There we go. Now we're going to do the S. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this backing off of here. Hmm. Well, this is going to prove to be a battle, looks like. Thank you. 
There we go. And now we're going to do the words, let it up here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the one or two lines yet. I'm going to put this up just for the moment so I can cut out this part. See here. There should be plenty of space there around that. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and back take this backing off and we're gonna start weeding it. I think. It's playing at least. And now I need to grab my weeding tool if I can find it. So what exactly I have to probably work this time. There's only one thing I need to get out, and that's the inner on this letter E. Got that. Now I'm gonna cut a little bit of this um, transfer tape off. I'll get each word, yes. I'll get that word just fine. Now I'll show you how to use this here. You just take the backing off, like so. You can use these grids to line things up if you need to. I do need to trim that off just a little bit so it won't get on the letter I over there. Okay, so toss that a little bit. We're going to go ahead and burnish this down really well. Because doing that is what activates the transfer tape to the vinyl so you can lift it off of the backing safely. And we got that. So we're now going to go ahead and just... Put that right about there. Burnish it down really well again. That's what puts the vinyl on there and keeps it on there. And now we're going to slowly going to peel off the transfer tape. that down just a little bit more there we go I don't understand why it's not staying I 
just gonna need to burnish it even more now. Sorry about shaking on the desk and the camera. It's gonna happen apparently. There we go. Now we're gonna get the next word, the word it. And I did not do a good job at centering that at all. Looks terrible to me. But it's little things makes everything unique in life. So I'm gonna leave it as is. See how that goes. And there we go. And now for the topping of it all, the icing on top of the cake, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna hang this layer, um, this snowflake up here for the layer O. So I'm gonna try to find something hanging on here with, but not glue. I highly doubt glue would work. And if you like this video, please let me know because I may be able to make more of these in the future. So just let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this video. Just give me your honest opinion. My feelings won't be hurt. At least they probably won't be. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these right here. Or this, I mean. And there you go, you have your Let It Snow winter home decor. Let's look at it one more time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on all notifications if you haven't done so yet because turn on all notifications will let you know whenever I come out with a new video. And I know y'all want to know that. So I hope to see y'all again real soon. Have a great day. Bye.